I have to tell you, I am truly inspired by what Prince Harry, along with the Invictus Games family and his wife, Meghan's support, have been able to accomplish for veterans and their families around the world. The Invictus Games, founded by Prince Harry in 2014, have become a beacon of hope and resilience for many. These games are not just about sports. They are about the spirit of overcoming adversity, the power of community, and the strength found in unity. Prince Harry, a veteran himself, understands the challenges faced by those who have served in the military. His vision for the Invictus Games was to create an international adaptive multi-sport event in which wounded, injured, or sick armed services personnel and their associated veterans take part in sports including wheelchair basketball, sitting volleyball, and indoor rowing. The name Invictus means unconquered, symbolizing the fighting spirit of the wounded, injured, and sick service personnel and what these tenacious men and women can achieve post-injury. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, has been a steadfast supporter of her husband's endeavors. Her presence at these events has brought additional attention and support, highlighting the importance of mental health and well-being for veterans. Together, they have shown a light on the often overlooked struggles of those who have served their countries, advocating for better support systems and resources. The impact of the Invictus Games extends far beyond the competition itself. It has fostered a global community of veterans who support each other, share their stories, and inspire others. The camaraderie and mutual respect among the participants are palpable, creating an environment where healing and growth are possible. The games have also raised awareness about the physical and psychological challenges faced by veterans, encouraging society to take action and provide the necessary support. Veterans from all over the world come together to compete, but more importantly, to connect and heal. The stories of these brave men and women are a testament to the human spirit's resilience. They remind us that, despite the hardships and obstacles, there is always hope and a way forward. The Invictus Games have given these veterans a platform to showcase their strength, determination, and unwavering spirit. In conclusion, the Invictus Games, with the unwavering support of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, have made a significant impact on the lives of veterans and their families. They have created a space where veterans can find solace, support, and a sense of belonging. The games are a powerful reminder of the importance of community, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. As we continue to support and celebrate these incredible individuals, we are reminded of the profound difference that compassion, understanding, and unity can make in the lives of those who have served. On their second and final day in Bogota, the Duke and Duchess, accompanied by Vice President Francia Marquez and her partner Rafael Yerni Pinillo, visited the Center for Inclusive Rehabilitation. Welcome to the Center for Inclusive Rehabilitation, a beacon of hope and progress for many. This state-of-the-art facility, managed by the Directorate of Veterans and Inclusive Rehabilitation, stands as a testament to our commitment to supporting those who have served our nation. Here, active duty service members and veterans find a sanctuary where they can heal, grow, and prepare for the next chapter of their lives. The center is not just a place for recovery, it is a hub of innovation and excellence. Our modern facilities are equipped with the latest technology and resources to provide comprehensive care. From physical therapy to mental health support, we offer a wide range of services tailored to meet the unique needs of each individual. Our dedicated team of professionals works tirelessly to ensure that every service member and veteran receives the highest quality of care. In addition to our rehabilitation services, the center also serves as the training ground for Team Columbia. This remarkable team joined the Invictus family in 2023, bringing with them a spirit of resilience and determination. The Invictus Games, founded by Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, is an international adaptive multi-sport event for wounded, injured, or sick armed services personnel and veterans. Team Columbia's participation in these games is a source of immense pride for us. Our athletes train rigorously, pushing their limits and breaking barriers every day. They embody the true spirit of the Invictus Games, demonstrating that with courage and perseverance, anything is possible. The center provides them with the facilities and support they need to excel in their respective sports. From adaptive equipment to specialized coaching, we ensure that our athletes have everything they need to succeed. But the center's impact goes beyond just physical rehabilitation and sports training. We also focus on the holistic well-being of our service members and veterans. Our programs include vocational training, educational opportunities, 
and community engagement initiatives. We believe that true rehabilitation encompasses all aspects of life, and we strive to empower our service members and veterans to lead fulfilling and independent lives. As you tour our facilities, you will see the dedication and passion that drives our work. Every corner of the center reflects our unwavering commitment to those who have sacrificed so much for our country. From the state-of-the-art gymnasiums to the serene therapy gardens, every detail has been thoughtfully designed to create an environment of healing and growth. We invite you to join us in celebrating the incredible achievements of our service members and veterans. Their stories of resilience and triumph inspire us every day, and we are honored to be a part of their journey. Thank you for visiting the Center for Inclusive Rehabilitation, where hope and healing come together to create a brighter future for all. The couple was welcomed by military officials and a veteran military band that performed a cumbia and salsa medley before they began their tour of the facilities. They explored the swimming pool, rock climbing wall, gym, and rehabilitation areas. Engaging with athletes about their exercise routines, favorite workouts, and strategies for maintaining strength. The group then attended a volleyball match where Pinillo and Prince Harry participated, while the vice president and the duchess cheered from the sidelines. After the match, Prince Harry met with Korean War veterans and both he and Meghan toured the center's art hall, featuring artwork by Invictus athletes. The duchess received a painting, hand-knitted animals, and a beaded necklace and earrings from the artists, while the duke was presented with a commemorative plaque from the Ministry of National Defense veterans. The Center for Inclusive Rehabilitation is not just a place of physical recovery. It is a sanctuary where hope is rekindled and lives are transformed. Nestled in the heart of the community, this center stands as a beacon of resilience and strength. Every day, individuals from all walks of life walk through its doors, each carrying their own unique stories of struggle and triumph. The center's mission goes beyond mere physical healing. It aims to restore the spirit and rebuild the lives of those who have faced unimaginable challenges. It is a hub of inspiration and community. Here, people find not only the medical care they need, but also the emotional and social support that is crucial for holistic recovery. The center hosts a variety of group activities and community gatherings, fostering a sense of belonging and camaraderie among its members. These events are more than just social gatherings. They are lifelines that connect individuals, helping them to build a network of support that extends far beyond the walls of the center. The friendships and bonds formed here are often lifelong, providing a foundation of strength and encouragement that helps individuals navigate their recovery journey. It stands as a testament to the power of adaptive sports and rehabilitation in transforming lives. Adaptive sports are a cornerstone of the center's rehabilitation programs, offering veterans and service members a unique and empowering way to regain their strength and confidence. These sports are not just about physical activity, they are about reclaiming a sense of identity and purpose. Through adaptive sports, individuals learn to push their limits, overcome obstacles, and achieve goals they once thought were impossible. The sense of accomplishment and pride that comes from participating in these activities is immeasurable and it plays a crucial role in the overall healing process and empowering veterans and service members to reach new heights. The center's dedicated team of professionals works tirelessly to provide personalized care and support, ensuring that each individual receives the attention and resources they need to succeed. Physical therapy sessions are tailored to meet the specific needs of each person, helping them to regain mobility, strength, and independence. The journey of rehabilitation is often long and arduous, but with the unwavering support of the center's staff and the encouragement of fellow veterans and service members, individuals are able to overcome even the most daunting challenges. The Center for Inclusive Rehabilitation is more than just a facility. It is a community of hope, resilience, and transformation. It is a place where lives are rebuilt, spirits are lifted, and futures are reimagined. What a successful day for the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex. Bravo Harry and Megan.